Hi, I'm Victoria and my husband Eric and I are the laptoppreneurs. <laughs> yeah, like a real laptop. And our passion is to help people like yourself grow and create financing income online from anywhere in the world. That's right. Now, if you like the information I'm about to share with you, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our tribe, our YouTube channel. Yay! Awesome information that you'll get from us daily, packed with value, information, and tons and tons of information about being an entrepreneur and being an affiliate marketer and being in business online. Because honey, that's where the money is. My favorite line, it used to be, and it still is, you're either online or you're out of business, okay? Now, my topic today is about, am I a wantrepreneur? No, I didn't say entrepreneur. <laughs> I said, am I a wantrepreneur? See, entrepreneurs are excited about their business. They get, ooh, honey, they can get out of bed and they wanna jump out. They think about their business. They think about making money. They're all aspects. We're talking for profit. We're not talking nonprofit. Nothing wrong with nonprofit. This is for profit, baby. This is for making money. Entrepreneurs get up thinking about their business and they go to bed thinking about their business. They're, they're entrepreneurs. Now, a entrepreneur is a little bit different. They're excited about their business, but not the same way. They're excited about their business on Monday. They may not be on Tuesday. They may not be on Wednesday. They may be on Thursday and they hit and miss on Friday or Saturday. When the weekend comes, they're no longer business people. We're not talking brick and mortar. We're talking business period because business starts in the mind, not in a building. Okay, business is all about the transfer of finances and services, whether that be a product or a service. And the thing is, a entrepreneur doesn't think like that. As a matter of fact, I'd go as far as to say most of the time they have an employee mentality. They might as well have a clock, clock in, clock out. But an entrepreneur, they never put their business on the shelf. They think about their business 24 seven. They may be feeling sick, they may not feel well, they may be busy with their children, they may be busy with their spouse, they may be on vacation, but they don't ever forget their business. Even if they're balanced and they're, and they're thinking about their family and doing things, in the back of their mind, side of their mind, the business still didn't go too far away because they're entrepreneurs, not entrepreneurs. An entrepreneur will find the resources. That's another thing. They think outside the box. They don't think, okay, I don't have the money for this. I don't have the resources to do this. I can't do this because it's raining. I can't do this because I'm here. I can't do this because of this. They find a way out of no way. A true entrepreneur will make a way out of any way. I'll give you an example. Eric and I, my husband and I, as the laptoppreneurs, that's what we're known as, we've done video marketing for a long time and we love it. And we've done tons of Facebook Lives, like hundreds. And there's times we were scheduled to do one and we were either at Walmart, on the side of the road, at the beach, on vacation, we just go and do what we got, excuse ourselves and go and do what we have to do and then come back. And see, the thing is, I've heard people say, you know, I can't do a video because I'm on vacation. And I'm thinking, what does that got to do with it? I can't do this because I'm in the car and I'm on the way to do an errand for my children or my spouse. What does that got to do with it? In other words, an entrepreneur will find a way to get the job done. Yep, they sure will. A entrepreneur will find every excuse in the book to do nothing and get nothing done. It's always an excuse and they can truly justify that excuse. <laughs> also too, an entrepreneur wants to wait for someone to give them the resources. That's a entrepreneur. Entrepreneur will find ways to move money around and honey, if they have to put on several credit cards, work it, they'll find a way to get the job done. That is an entrepreneur. By the, by, you know, I'll give you an example. Years ago, there was a director. Matter of fact, Spike Lee, he just got an Oscar. After all these years in the movie industry, he finally got his first and only Oscar, okay? And he did the movie, uh, Do the Right Thing. And I remember when he started, he put everything on credit cards. He was just doing everything he could 
because he wanted to get his film completed. And you know what? You do what you have to do until you get where you are and you can do no more and keep doing it until you can't do it anymore and then find another way to do it. You got to keep it moving on. Keep on moving on. That's an entrepreneur. They don't make excuses. They make money. Yeah. Also, too, an entrepreneur, by the, 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 the sheer saying of an entrepreneur, has the nature of being a grinder, honey. They're going to make it happen. They work and they move it. They have a strategy. They, they don't always work hard, but they work smart, honey. They'll find a way to make that money. They take massive action. They go into that zone. That's what I used to call it when I was in, you know, doing commission sales. I call it going to the zone. Where they go into the zone, they don't look to the left or to the right, but they make it happen. And they keep focused until they hit their goal. They hit their goal. And that's what an entrepreneur does. They don't hate sales, they don't mind people, and they have a mission. And when they're on the mission, they make it happen. They take massive action and they do that thing until they do that thing until they get where they're going. They're on a mission. They keep in the zone. That's the way an entrepreneur thinks. A entrepreneur, well, I don't know. How are you doing today? Fair to Midland. I'm trying, but I had some situations and I couldn't do this. I had this and I couldn't do this. The bottom line is when you're an entrepreneur, massive action. If you're an entrepreneur, you're going to make some excuses. And I'm not saying the excuses can't be justified, but get over that hump if you want to be an entrepreneur. Because entrepreneurs are money driven, they're time driven, and they're focused and goal driven. Let me say that again. They're money driven. And they're finance driven, but they're goal and focus driven. Certain things drive an entrepreneur. They're driven by their goals. They want to hit that money mark. They want to be on the leaderboard. They want to hit that financial goal. They're going to make it happen. They're also time driven. They know that they got a certain time of urgency to hit their goals and get where they want to go. And they're also financially goal driven. They want to make that money. They want to make that money. I've never met an entrepreneur that wasn't monetarily motivated. I, I just never have. I mean, people are motivated by, I just want to help people. That's great. But an entrepreneur knows this is not a non-profit. This is a profit-driven business. And people that are entrepreneurs are willing to do and go where they have to do to get what they need. That's just the way they think. That's, that's just the nature of how they think. Their DNA does not give up. Their DNA thinks I can make it. Their DNA says I want to be the first. Their DNA says look what I've done. I want to get recognized and acknowledged for my efforts. That's the way an entrepreneur. There's a little greed. There's a little expectation. There's a little goal driven. But that's the way entrepreneurs. I can spot an entrepreneur a mile away. Whether it's a street vendor or a person that's got a, their own major mid to high level company. They think like a risk taker. They think goal driven. They think monetarily, I'm going to have it. If they can do it, I can do it. That's the attitude. Entrepreneurs think like that. Entrepreneurs don't think that that. They want to clock in, clock out, hit and miss. If they'll do their business Monday, they may do it Wednesday. They, they may have a goal. They may not. Sometimes they forget what they're even doing because you got to have a goal and you got to know where you're going with your goal. That's what keeps you driving. You've got to. You've got to put it in front of you. That's why I say you've got to have a dream board. Come on, folks. So point being, an entrepreneur is not the same as a want entrepreneur. Check it out. Do the litmus test. Find it. Are you truly an entrepreneur? Ask yourself that. Do you have what it takes? Are you money driven? Are you goal driven? Are you urgency time driven? Hey, only you know. In your secret place, only you and your heart of hearts knows if you're really an entrepreneur. Okay? So if you like the information I shared with you, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe to our tribe. Yes. Our, our YouTube. Yes. Awesome information. Also, down in the description is a link. It's our number one money-making system online. And honey, it is the bomb. You have got to check that out. If you want to make money and you want to make it online, you want to check that out. Because I always say, you're either online or you're out of business. And that's a fact. Especially now, everything's online, even Toys R Us. So make sure 
that if you want to make money, you want to succeed, and you're whether you're a beginner or, or, or a person who's been doing this and in the game for a long time, hit that link because it's got our number one money making system for making money online today in 2019. And on that note, have a fabulous day, fabulous, fabulous week. And I'll catch you on the other side.